My main takeaways from the workshop was that ACETIDE is doing quite a lot of work that isn't just research but actually looks at what the real economy in South Africa requires. Infrastructure is a big part of that and there's been, I think for a very long time, a lack of um, precise knowledge around what is actually required, where are we going to get funding from and it's starting to feel like we're really making our way towards there and the partnerships we're involved in, um, most of them that are in the research teams as well, shows that um, the work is relevant in a lot of spaces and then in actually coming together like this we're able to hopefully influence uh, policy in a very real way with very real research and evidence. It was a fascinating discussion between various experts. I'm of course from the climate science community and here at the SA Tide workshops I often interact with um, some of the foremost economists and economic modelers in South Africa. So it's all about working out how climate change will increasingly impact on our economic growth here in South Africa. We of course will, in South Africa, like in many parts of the world, increasingly face the impacts of extreme weather events, more frequent droughts, more frequent flooding in the eastern parts of the country specifically, more frequent heat waves impacting on agriculture, on the cattle industry, also directly on our health as humans. The field of climate change is such an interconnected and um, interdisciplinary field that the, the diversity of actors and players in the room really helped to have an integrated approach in how we answer these questions and it was such a nice way of, of linking um, researchers with, with different institutions, different people they just speak to. It's really important for the researchers to meet on a regular basis to discuss not only the methodology and data but the overarching questions that we're trying to answer. As SA Tide we're also working across different uh, areas in water, energy and food. Uh, so these regular meetings gives an opportunity to give updates, to talk about the issues and to really explore what's happening in the research as a collective group. Coming together as different teams to discuss what we're all busy with in our respective research teams reminds us that the complexities means we're always connected and workshops like this are a good reminder of what are my outputs feeding into another research, what is their output saying about my research that I need to consider, which is what these workshops actually facilitate. So some of the work that I'm really excited about in terms of the progress that we're making in SA Tide is the development of the model that will be open sourced and available to other researchers. A lot of work has gone into developing the data, structuring the, the particular model, and now we're starting to also use the research that we've done on water and energy to really build a hybrid climate economy model. Some of the new researchers coming on board into the work stream um, with this wave is regarding the water, food and energy nexus. So we have work from the University of Mpumalanga who looks at localised communities. Um, we have work from researchers in um, the Netherlands um, along with partners in South Africa who are looking into the legal and um, institutional frameworks required to mobilise local um, community finance water sources as well as research looking into most vulnerable municipalities in South Africa regarding the energy transition as well as how climate change influences some of the productivity in, in different, as, uh, different sectors in South Africa. So some really interesting research coming out from this new uh, wave.